Hi, David here from Dome McCracken SEO. Today's subject, Crawlable Link Structures. Search Engine Beginner's Guide Part 4. How Crawlable Link Structures Work. It's best you understand the importance of crawlable link structures as they add to the search value of your website indexes if done properly. The crawlable architecture's real value is where spiders, sometimes called robots or bots, can browse your website links in order to find all your pages and posts. All posts and pages need to have linkages through your website so fix those broken links when they show up as they have a detrimental effect on your search engine indexes and spiders ability to maintain your index level. This graphic illustrates the problem with broken links or poor link structures. If you look at the image, Google spiders find your home page and see the links to B and E but without links to C and D. The spiders have no way of reaching reading or knowing that C and D even exist. So your important information may never be indexed. The importance of links with pages and posts cannot be overemphasized. Also excellent navigation is vital to visitors and that includes search engine bots. Next item is hyperlink code. The above graphic illustrates how to set up an anchor text link that provides a link to the pages on your website in HTML structure. This is the best way to link your pages and posts. To commence with, at the start and at the finish, we have tag elements using the A and the equals. In the body, we have firstly the refer location, which is the URL, and secondly, we have the anchor text. These are seven ways why spiders cannot index link structures. Here are some of the reasons why search engine spiders cannot link. Better to stay with HTML linkages for the best robot indexing. Firstly, links in submission forms, such as subscription forms. If you are required to complete an online form before gaining access, it's likely that robots will not see them. Two, link to unphrasable JavaScript. It's best to use standard HTML links than JavaScript for spiders. 3. Links pointing to pages by MetaRobots or Robot.tet. These directives may be blocked by robots. 4. Frames or iframes. It's best you stay away from using these unless you have the technical knowledge. 5. Robots do not use search forms. Search boxes may be great for humans to find information, but spiders do not perform searches to find content. They rely on links. 6. Links in Flash, Java and other plugins. As stated in my recent blog, Beginner's Guide Part 3, search engine crawlers live on text. Yet images and the like have no impact other than via alt text. 7. Links on pages with many hundreds of thousands of links. Happens when you have a long list of pricing that interlinks with products on other pages. Robots just give up. So you best limit these to under 100 links per page. RHEL equals no follow. No follow instructions to search engines not to follow a link. 
It's a method to stop automotive linking spam. Many websites of high value do not want to pass on their link authority to whoever puts a link to represent somebody from whom they do not know or trust. Whilst no follow links are not bad and may not pass on link juice, they are part of natural link referencing. So, in summarising crawlable link structures, this review is the second part of Chapter 4 of Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO. It's best you understand the importance of crawlable link structures as they add to the search value of your website indexes if properly done. The crawlable architecture's real value is where spiders and robots can browse your website links in order to find all your pages and posts. That's all for this blog post. Further information, contact us. You make it a great day and until next time, bye for now, David.